Hello everybody, it's Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions here and today's top tip video is going to show you how to create a design template in Canva. So here we are logged into Canva and I'm using a free version of Canva as I know that most of you will have this but I will talk you through where you can do additional things if you do use the paid version as well. So to start off with, what we're going to do is add our brand colours into Canva so that they will come up for us automatically when we're creating designs. And we do that over here in the Your Brand menu. Now, as you can see, we've currently got no colour palettes in here. So I'm going to click on Add. And I'm going to put in one of my hash codes. And if you've had um, a logo or anything designed for you for your business, then you should have the colour codes for that. Or you can just go with the favourite colours that you use most often within Canva by picking them out from the colour wheel here as well. Now in the free version of Canva, you can have up to three colours within this colour palette. And um, if you have the paid version, you can have several colours, you can have more than one palette here as well. You can also click here to get some inspiration if you haven't got a specific colour palette for your business or your branding. Now I'll just go through the other options in here. As you can see these are greyed out because these are only for the paid version. But you can set your fonts within this section. So when you go to add text into a design, you can have it added in using the fonts that you've pre-selected here. You can upload fonts if the font that you use for your branding isn't already in Canva. And you can add your logos here as well to make it much easier to add those into your designs. <clears throat> so we've added our colours and now we're going to go and create a new design so we can see where those colours are. And I'm going to create a Facebook post today. And this is going to become my template Facebook post because I want all my posts for my business to look and feel the same when they go out. So I'm going to start off by renaming this. I'm going to call this Facebook post template. And I'm going to go with this design here because I like it. But I know that I have the ability to make changes to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this picture because it doesn't suit me. So I'm going to do a search for office pictures here and it's great because you can pick up free and paid for images within this search area and you can select this to pick up only free photos. Oh sorry no it's telling me I can only select that in the paid version so actually it's going to bring you all of them through here but if you have the paid version you can select but if you just look for the ones that say free these are the ones that you definitely won't need to pay for. So I'm going to pull this one across and if I drag this over you can see it's now replacing the image that was already there and it's just a case of drag and drop and I've now replaced that image. Now I want to make this coloured background here match my branding so I've clicked on it to select it and I'm going to go up here and as you can see my brand colours are now showing that I've preset so I can select one of those really quickly and easily. I can then amend the text as I wish to on this. So I'm going to say, I have a concession, I love to work. And that is now the Facebook template that I'll use for future posts. I can update the image and I can change the text as I need to when I'm working. Now, I'm going to save this design. And I'm going to come out of it. And as you'll see, it's now appeared in my all designs. So I'm going to come back another day and I want to create another Facebook post similar. So I'm going to go into my Facebook post template. And by pressing this copy, this page here, I'm just going to create another version of it. So I can update the image and text in this version. And then when I download it, I can go download and I can tell it I only want to download page two because that's my new version. So there you have it. We have created a template in Canva and I hope that you found that useful. Thank you for watching and if you do have any questions please let me know.